And I'm seeing a lot of sediment coming down Long Swamp Creek. You can see the line where it hits the Etowah River. This is the most sediment I've seen coming in so far along the Etowah. What has this to do with the ultimate health of the river? Well, the sediment causes real problems to the fish that are significant member of the ecosystem and the, uh, the bugs that live in the river that the fish eat. The sediment, clo sediment clogs the fish gills so they can't breathe. Ditto for the uh, macroinvertebrates. It smothers their uh, nesting sites on the bottom of the, of the river. Somebody's not using real good erosion sedimentation control practices, it looks like. 105 aquatic species. That's among the highest number of aquatic species of any river in the United States. So the biodiversity that we've got here is important, not only on a national scale, but on, on kind of a worldwide scale. 91 of those fish are native, four are endemic. That means they're not found anywhere else in the world, only in the Etowah Basin. All of those things that come along with urban development funnel through those different changes down to fewer fish, especially sensitive species. So these three species of fish that we're talking about, the Etowah Amber and Cherokee Darters, they're like canaries in the coal mine. When we see these fish start dropping out of a system, we know we, we screwed something up somewhere. These guys are real sensitive. I heard today that y'all may have gotten a little bit of an education about point source and non-point source pollution. I heard some of y'all saw some pipes. I hear pipes coming out. That would be point source pollution. You can point to where one source of pollution is coming out. And then the other big issue is non-point source pollution. All the pollution that washes off the surface of the land whenever it rains. It comes from dirt, from an erosion site coming off of a construction site. And that clogs up fish gills, makes it hard for them to find their food. It comes from cows in the river on a cattle farm. You get dirt and sediment into our streams. Water agencies pull that water out and send it to your tap. They have to clean it up first. So it increases the cost that we have to pay to treat our drinking water. And I don't think they're keeping that cost, I'm thinking they're passing that on to you. So one of the big concerns of people here in Northwest Georgia is um, not just clean water, but enough clean water uh, to sustain our community and the future generations of our community. I hope you have wonderful water and wonderful experiences that you can take the story of the Etowah back to the other folks and share it and get other people concerned about it. And that you also, when you're back to your regular lives, can think back to this chance and take a mental deep breath and be still for a little bit. Cherokee County is kind of the epicenter of all the growth that is kind of engulfing the Etowah River Basin. 185,000 people there now. Over the next couple of decades, that population is supposed, to, is supposed to double. So you have tremendous development pressures there in Cherokee County and around Canton and the Etowah River. Tremendous pressures for drinking water supply. Uh, tremendous pressures for uh, storm water. What are you going to do with the storm water? How are you going to keep it from polluting the river? So there's a lot of pressures in the in Cherokee County. All the development, for instance, all the development that's taking place in Cherokee County is going to overwhelm the Etowah River. It's not going to be a river that anybody's going to want to paddle in. It's certainly not going to be one that anybody's going to want to swim in. And uh, that feeds Lake Altoona, which is one of the premier recreational resources in this area. Uh, Lake Altoona is already on the state's polluted waters list, large portions of it are, because of stormwater runoff as a result of all the development that's taking place in the Etowah Basin. If you want to write off Lake Altoona, if you want to write off the Etowah River, then don't, don't, don't do the right thing. Make all the money you want and leave, leave a legacy that can be quite sad.